Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this packed video short, we're going to discuss an instructional design framework for adaptive deployment of generic content. When the supplier needed to think globally, but knew that the customer would need to act locally. PACT is an acronym. It stands for Performance Based, Accelerated, Customer and Stakeholder Driven, Training and Development of Any Blend. Our model is a classic 3x3 three three matrix plus. The reason that this is important is that research shows us that only 15% can learn out of context, more likely somebody else's performance context, and then apply in a different context, theirs, their performance context. We know from the research that authenticity is key. In the first phase, the pre-event, the facilitator needs to get oriented to all of the materials that the learner will experience and their role as a facilitator. They must do any planning and adaptation of the content to make it real, to make it authentic. They'll need to also do whatever scheduling and communications is necessary given the learner population. In the second phase, the event or the main event, there's usually a preface, an advanced organizer that needs to be shared with the learners, how this fits their real world. Then the second part is to deliver and deploy that generic content. At the end of the phase two is the initial applications that's necessary to make it authentic. That would include discussing the content's contextual applicability, demonstrate that applicability via exercises of some sort, role plays or actual work. Doing real work, of course, is always the best. And then a debriefing with commitments to apply and share the application experiences afterwards. In the post-event, there's fluency and frequency planning that is dependent on where were the learners after the main event. Did they already get it? Is that enough? Or, most likely, there will be a need for continued spaced repetition and spaced learning. How will you accomplish that? The second portion of the phase three is to monitor the transfer to the job, which of course is most important. And then the third part is troubleshooting any transfer issues. The 3x3 three three matrix is supported with plus activities, which include space reminders of all sorts. Could be little text messages, quizzes, coffee cups, ball caps, whatever that reinforces the key messages and is a reminder to the learners of what they learned. PLUS can also include spaced discussions, discussing the key core concepts that had been taught and how they apply in the real world of the learners. It can also include spaced demonstrations where we practice what we learned in an authentic context, whether that's a real work that's being done or a role play, etc. Then there can be spaced debriefings where we talk about what we learned, what we are learning from applying it, and sharing that with others. Again, this is important because generic content might include examples from somebody else's job. If I'm in finance and see sales, definitions, examples, demonstrations, and application exercises, I can pretty much tell that that's been built for somebody else. If I'm in sales and I see the opposite where I see financial examples and demonstrations and exercises, I can be pretty assured that that has been designed for somebody else. What's important is that the facilitator of the learning experience augment bookend 
that generic content with the preface up front and the bringing it out home discussions, demonstrations, and debriefings that are authentic. Authenticity is key. Authenticity is key to transfer.